Right, okay, time for me to start building up uh, my Mark III tactical squad. However, they're going to be created as a tactical support squad to actually basically give me a bit more variety in my Horus Heresy armies. So, uh, I'm going to start off by just kind of building the core models themselves. So, in order to start this one, I'm going to start by building a a sergeant so i'm just going to build the sergeant quite normal on this one um give him a plasma pistol give him a power sword because these are going to be for my um i'll remember now my imperial fists uh to make my life a bit easier i've also kind of painted in red which ones i'm focusing on i i, I used to do this all the time and then i stopped doing it and i really should have carried on doing it because it makes life easier when i clearly lay out what i'm about to cut into Okay, so in order to build a sergeant in Mark III plate, we need parts 30 and 32 to begin with. Now, just to make you aware, I believe this class is as pose 5 as well, if you actually have a look at the instructions. It's important to remember what these poses are as well, because I've kind of had a look at this and try to compare it to the Mark VI plate because I'm planning on adding the, the support weapons to it. The reason it's important to remember what pose is which is because the pose tells you which support weapon you can put on the body. So when we actually, or when I, not in this video, but the video is coming up, when I actually start doing where are we now? When I actually start doing the support weapons, it's going to actually make a difference about which pose is which. And I have had a look at them against the, the Mark VI. As far as I can tell, what Games Workshop have done with this, and that this is open to debate about whether or not this is a good thing or a bad thing. What they seem to have done is they seem to have done a generic Space Marine body uh, on what I assume is probably the software called Maya for 3D modeling. I'm going to assume they use uh, the really expensive software at Games Workshop. I mean, I don't know, they might use Blender, who knows? But I'm going to assume that they probably use uh, Maya. Uh, however, they've gone and used their 3D rendering software and they've basically done, as far as I can tell, five generic poses so five positions that the space marines stand in and then from there they've built up from it and then use those five generic poses to create both the mark three and the mark six bodies and that's as that's what i can see or at least that's what i think i see when i've been looking into this uh, why does that matter? Well, the reason it matters is because if you're using the same template, it means that if you're creating an upgrade sprue, like the uh, the special weapon sprue or the heavy weapon sprue, just trying to make sure I'm getting this in the right place. Yeah. Uh, it, it basically means that you can use that one sprue and if you say put this gun goes on pose five of the mark six kit then logically it should also go on the pose five of the mark three i'm going to explore that in a little bit more detail as i go through and this is where my glue's decided that what it really wants to do today is clog up. <laughs> Give it a second, hang on. Right, okay, there we go. I've managed to uh, unclog that. I just gotta work out how to get this on properly. So it does feel very simply that it, it'll fold into here like that. Yep. 
then from there, what well, oh, wrong sprue. That's the accessory sprue. From there, I need to get piece 31, which is the back of the body. I'm highly likely to do 10 of these Imperial Fist. Now, I don't really think that they suit my Night Lords, these body types. So I think with the other five, I might actually do a random chapter just so I can paint something different for once. I say paint something different. I've still not painted up all of my Horus Heresy miniatures yet. I'm terrible. I haven't painted up the actual box set yet. So I'm lying there, aren't I? <laughs> I'm not, I'm not painting something different, I'm painting something. <laughs> right. Now, that's uh, pretty clear cut. And now what we need to do is we need to get from here 41 and 42, which are the arms. Probably a good idea if I just zoom in a little bit here, isn't it? Far too far out for what I'm doing here. Right, now it's a good idea to go and get these off so that they can just kind of start drying. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get number seven which is the power sword arm. And then we're gonna get number two, which is this plasma pistol over here. I'm really loving the Siege of Terror at the moment as well. I'm up to Saturine, which, you know, I'm so pleased. I, you know, Iron, Iron Warriors are not my personal love with the Horus Heresy. But what I love is the fact that uh, Perturabo, yeah, that's how you say it, isn't it? Um, Primarch of the Iron Warriors. Obviously, he's very bitter, feels that he was always in the shadow of Rogel Dawn. So, he's having his time to shine, basically. By very slowly and utterly trashing the Imperial Palace. And of course, you know, it's all about, it's not even about winning per se, it's simply about proving to Rogel Dawn that, you know what, he would win in a fair fight. Well, not a fair fight, is it really, to, per, you know, in a lot of ways, but whatever Rogel Dawn can build, Tarabo can destroy. And I really like that. I really like that kind of story. In fact, you know what? There's a good chance that these other ones are going to be Iron Warriors. <laughs> um, oh, come on. Come on. I want to glue happily this, does it? Yeah. So I'm not going to do any spoilers because not everyone's got that far yet. But, you know... 
I, I, I just kind of, I love the idea of this long-winded siege. There we go. Right, let's get this, make sure that this sits comfortably where it should do you see if i look at this model now this this pose immediately calls out to me that there's a pose exactly like this Ooh. on the mark six kit i'm gonna lower the arm a bit it doesn't look right high up there we go. okay uh, now we've got to decide on head types. So I'm not going to go bareheaded on this one. Uh, let's have a look what we've got options wise. Is there a I'm looking to see if there's a particular head. 44 I picked out this one here. Yeah, so this pose definitely feels like the walking forward pose that you get on the Mark 6s. And I'm going to try and get everything out at some point so that I can kind of, you know, line them up next to each other. Okay. Next little bit for this. Well, that's starting to dry. I'm not going to put the shoulder pads on yet. I'm going to get this number 8 here. See, I built so many of these doing the Age of Darkness box set that it's like my muscle memory is built in while doing them. So even though they're a different mark of armour, it just feels like I know exactly how I'm putting them together. Right. I think what we do now... Yes, yeah, so if you look carefully, you just need to kind of set that in. Big question is... Yeah, it does. So it goes... A little spike goes behind. There he is. So we can show that it's exactly right, because if that's even slightly off, it's going to look weird. <laughs> Could I get it perfectly lined up? And then finally, see, this is how simple some of these builds are. This is what I like about these. I need these 33s. So unlike with the chorus harbor, where you've got one shoulder pad that's studded, these are just the same basically there's no real difference between them i think it would look nice if you've got a spare studded piece of armor from another kit i think on this particular model it would look really good right but it shouldn't really matter which way you put these on they should go on just perfectly see no problem oh, i say no problem and then it falls off And then we need to go and grab ourselves a power plant, no doubt about that. So let's have a look for our power plant now. Okay, so basically the power plants are all practically the same. So there's no real difference between any of them. They all go together. Uh, however, I think if we're going to be very, very specific about this, it's power plant number 40. Uh, which for some reason I didn't mark out, but there it is. There is a power plant on here that is specifically designed for the um, the Vox, either the Vox or the Nun 
C what's it how do you even say that weird thing? The nuncio box or the vexilia. Right. Oh now this part where you've got to get tidied up between the without damaging. My video bugged out then and crashed, so there we go. And I said, I like this kind of power plant, I think it's a very good looking type of power plant on these. In fact, now that I've got that out and on the model, what I want to do is I want to just go grab hold of Alexis. Have a look at those power plants next to each other. So you can tell that they kind of come from the same design ethos, but they are definitely two different types of power plant. Uh, Alexis's one is a lot more kind of straight lined, whereas this one has got a few more curves to it. The um, vent at the back's inset instead of pointing outwards. So yeah, I don't think Alexis has this type of armour. But that, I, I absolutely love these. I love this armour. Uh, uh, I, I just think the, the, the different kinds of Space Marine armour are just so cool. They always have been so cool. The idea behind the, the, like the different marks that were used during the Great Crusade. Uh, years and years ago, Games Workshop did like some metal versions of each one, right, including Thunder Armour of all things. Um, but to have this kind of armour in plastic is just brilliant. So, uh, there are a few little things that you can add to it. I'm not going to just pull, purely because I don't, although I do use these things on my miniatures at the end, I just don't like painting Space Marines with too many add-ons attached to begin with. I prefer to do those afterwards, so you won't find me putting those on. Uh, I find it better to paint these separate and then attach them at the end. And there we have it. So there is our, yeah, our sergeant for our tactical support squad uh, in Mark III armour. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.